Hello, I'm Stephen Clark, and welcome to Thailand Unplugged. Let's have a look at some of the news we've got coming up today. Five new Chinese coronavirus cases in Thailand. Where did they come from and how did they get there? The Education Minister of Thailand wants 10,000 more teachers in Thailand to teach. Thailand beauty pageant and one of the beauty pageants tells the Thai officials where to get and totally exposes them for bribery. And a Filipino style Zoom conference turns into a very sexy encounter. Hello once again, I'm Stephen Clark with Johnny Siam. Those and other stories coming right up. Five new Chinese coronavirus cases recorded in Thailand today. Among the Thai foreign arrivals from abroad in state quarantine, including an Uzbekistan player from the Buriram United soccer team. According to the CCSA, three new infections are Thai. They include two Thai students aged 24 and 34, who arrived in Thailand on September the 6th from India and entered the state quarantine in Shambhari province. Both tested positive to the Chinese coronavirus three days after arrival. The third is an air stewardess working in United Arab Emirates. She arrived in Thailand on September the 9th and tested positive the same day. The fourth case is a nine-year-old Japanese student who arrived in Thailand from Japan on September the 4th and entered international state quarantine in Bangkok on the same day. He was diagnosed as infected on September the 9th. The fifth is an Uzbekistan footballer who arrived in Thailand from Uzbekistan on August the 13th. He was found to be infected on September the 10th after he completed his 14-day mandatory quarantine in Bangkok. Cumulated infections in Bangkok to date are 3,466 with 3,312 recoveries and 58 deaths. 96 others are still being treated in hospital. Meanwhile, Police Lieutenant, Commissioner of the Immigration Police, took a helicopter trip today to survey the Thai Myanmar border in the southern province of Renong before meeting with officials to discuss the problem of illegal border crossings by people from Myanmar with the emphasis on human trafficking gangs which smuggle people into Thailand for profit. Officials were also warned that they would be dealt with severely if they are found to be involved in the human trafficking activities. Thai public health officials predict that the Chinese coronavirus pandemic, which is still spreading in Myanmar, may reach Thailand borders in two weeks, prompting security forces to seal the borders. And increase foot patrols, especially at natural border crossings known to be used by Myanmar people to slip into Thailand. Meanwhile, the Thai embassy in Kuala Lumpur has been notified by the Malaysian government that the border crossing opposite Sado district of Songkhla province is closed Saturday until September the 25th as part of the lockdown measures to contain the spread of the Chinese coronavirus. Thai people in Malaysia are advised to use alternative routes to enter or re-enter Thailand. A German tourist penned an open letter to the media that reached the Prime Minister. The letter outlined that his return to his home country would be placing him in harm's way due to the COVID situation in Germany. The long stay tourist outlined his plight. The Prime Minister's office said it was going to investigate and also invited other foreigners in the same situation to write a letter. Letters should be started with please let me stay and email to stay in Thai at classic media group classicmedia.co.th. You never know, there might be a silver lining on the clouds above those people's heads. Johnny out. Thailand's Education Minister aims to recruit native English teachers. Yes, the Education Minister plans to recruit 10,000 native English speaking teachers to improve Thai students' proficiency in the language as soon as the situation is safe to do so. Thailand's Education Minister said he has asked the embassies of several English speaking countries to find teachers who can teach English and other subjects in the language to teach Thai students as part of the government-to-government -government co 
cooperative uh, programs. A large number of native English-speaking teachers are necessary as we are working on upgrading the education system. He said there are 7,000 foreign teachers in Thailand schools, but this is not enough, adding another 10,000 is required. The cabinet has earmarked these funds as required. Ideally, this should have started already, but due to the Chinese coronavirus pandemic, it's been delayed. As soon as the situation is safe and secure enough, we will invite foreign teachers here, he said. Thai teachers will also be able to learn benefits from native English speaking teachers. The minister said he has also come up with a plan to upgrade English language lessons from kindergarten to high school level. However, the initial stage of the project will focus on early children education. The minister added, foreign teachers must have some professional training to qualify for the job, adding that a language teaching certificate is required. As we know, the world has changed and the way we work has changed. As we deal with the social distancing and minimal contact with others, it doesn't matter what the situation or our job is. Social media is being used for contact and meetings, but as we know, at times things can go wrong with background noise or some people forgetting to wear pants or just a few mishaps that happen. In the Philippines, a barangay captain in Desmenius City has made the faux pas of all faux pas. He and a woman, both married but not to each other, engage in having sex while awaiting for a joint Zoom call to other. Unaware, the performance of having sex was being transmitted to the others waiting for the meeting also. So I guess they got more entertainment out of the meeting than they expected. Johnny out. Myanmar, that had been handling the COVID situation very well in the earlier stages, locking its country down, it's had a very, very sudden and high spike in the COVID cases after reported two, over 260 cases in one day. The capital and Yangon have been shut down and curfews are now in place. There's only been over the last few months that the virus has become ramped up and now air travel has been suspended and borders have been closed. So just goes to show you, everywhere has been affected. Johnny out. Now a subject we don't talk about, or we just in general chatter, we might have talked about it in Thailand, you know. But hookers, yes, I said it, hookers. A 29 year old gentleman has been arrested in Phuket for hookers. When his room was raided, there were six hookers. Now hookers have been outlawed in Thailand due to their association with, let's say, some drugs. So the gentleman has been charged. Um, oh, oh, you think I'm talking about the other hookers? Well, that, yeah, that, that's illegal also. But no, I'm talking about the, the ones, you know, the water pipe, the Middle Eastern water pipe ones. Sorry about that. I should have clarified. Back to you, Mr. Clark. Johnny out. We all love a beauty pageant and we all have our own definitions of what we call beautiful or the combination of beauty and brains. But a beauty pageant got very embarrassing. A pageant participant accused the judges of being biased. The contestant said, we know when we win and we know when we don't, as she picked up the microphone with the last two contestants on the stage and accused the judges of being biased and that the pageant was rigged. So she put forward to the judging panel that the prize money to be divided equally between the contestants and that no crown was to be awarded due to the bias of the judges. No one got the crown, but everybody got a share of the money at stake. Johnny out. US Secretary of State Pompeii asked Asian states not to let China walk all over us. Hanoi, Vietnam. US Secretary of State Mike Pompei asked Southeast Asian nations to go beyond words and act against China's bullying in the disputed South China Sea 
promising America will back them up. Four of the members, the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia and Brunei, have been locked in a long-range territorial conflict with China, along with Taiwan over the busy waterway which Beijing claims almost its entirety. Although the US lays no claim to the South China Sea, the Trump administration has recently imposed sanctions on Chinese officials responsible for Beijing's military build-up in the area. It includes airfields, radar, missile stations on an island construction atop coral reefs. Raising fear China may interfere with freedom of navigation in international waters. Don't let the Chinese Communist Party walk over us. You should have confidence and the Americans will be here in friendship to help you, Pompei said. China does not respect democratic values and principles of sovereignty, quality and territorial integrity enshrined in the Asian character, Pompei said. He cited the US blacklisting of Chinese companies for their roles in constructing islands in the disputed waters that infringed upon other states' claims. There was no immediate comment from China or its Foreign Minister Wang Yi, who was also attending the convention in Hanoi, Vietnam. Vietnam's Foreign Minister warmed up to Pompeii's remarks, saying that Asia-US relationship has brought about a mutual benefit to both sides. The US role, contribution to maintaining peace, stability and security in the regions are encouraging, he said.